Rose tells us all about her new BBC sitcom and more importantly, what her nan thinks of it. Yeah, you've got to know what the nan thinks. Yeah. But now, there are so many kind and big-hearted people out there and it's always so great when you get in touch and you tell us about them. And one person who really caught our attention was Jane Dowding from Dorset, who runs a pony riding school for disabled children. Yes, Jane seemed absolutely perfect for this week's one big thank you. But don't just take our word for it. Here are Jane's friends to tell us more. I've nominated Jane Dowding for one big thank you because she has over 15 years of voluntary service with our group alone. Green Cottage Riding for the Disabled provides ridden and equine therapy for children aged between 5 and 15. Well, I look so forward to it every single week. It is the highlight of her week. Jane is here, all weathers, feeding the ponies. She does the poop scooping, the grooming, the feeding. Yeah, she's one in a million. During the pandemic, she's kept in touch with all the children and their carers, taking photos of her visiting the ponies and sharing those with the children, especially who are missing seeing their ponies. I think the big surprise for her will be how much the children appreciate what she does. She's incredibly kind and really, really thoughtful, and she's a true friend to us all. Well, Jane is a very busy person. And it's tough to pin her down, but one place that we knew we'd be able to find her was at the stables. So that's where we set up our surprise. Here's how it went. With the stables now open again, Jane is holding a horse grooming demonstration for the children and their parents. Hello. What she doesn't know is that we've rigged the stables with hidden cameras. Right, to anybody. You know how to groom a pony, do you? And we have a cunning plan to interrupt a demo with one of her favourite horse racing commentators. John Inverdale has presented coverage of many major sporting events, including the Grand National. But today, he's about to give a commentary on Jane's grooming masterclass, and everyone here will be listening in. Well, you join us here at one of the great sporting cathedrals of the world, and you can see Jane and Chuckles, 12 hands high. What a fantastic pair they make. As John's voice booms out from the speakers, we have set up around the stables. I can hear voices. Jane has no idea what's really going on. And you can see kids and so many other people there that make this group, the Riding for Disabled group, such a success for so many years. Oh, she's twigged. Something's up. Time for John to come clean. So, Jane, can you hear me? Go into the stables. And when you get there, you will find... Here she comes. Hello, Jane. I'm here virtually live from Cheltenham Racecourse, another fantastic place of equine excellence. We can never say thank you enough to people like you. Give so much of your time and so much of your life for the betterment people. What's it been like where you are these last 12 months? We've missed the children, we've missed the riding so much. If you could point to one thing that you've missed more than anything? To see the, the children's faces when they do when they come to see their ponies and stroke their ponies and get mounted. I'm surrounded by horses that, with respect, go a little bit faster than Chuckles does. Jane, pop outside now. You will see a few more messages. Thank you. I don't deserve it any more than anybody else of the helpers that we have yes, here. You do. Hiya, Jane. Now we know how important these sessions are for the children and how attached they are to the horses. Thank you so much for bringing joy to these children's lives. And here are some other fans of yours who think you deserve a one big thank you. Never seeking the limelight for yourself, you are always there with a warm smile and gentle encouragement. Thank you, Jane. Amazing. I just want to say on behalf of Tom and us all, a heartfelt thank you for all the work you did to enable Tom to ride it really helped him with his walking, something the doctor said he'd never be able to do. Thank you. Jane, for your support. Amazing job. Thank you. Living with a health challenge is hard, but riding at Green Cottage every week is the highlight of my week. Hi, Mum. I'm so pleased that all your hard work is being recognised. 1981 Grand National winner Bob Champion wants to add his thanks. 
I just want to say, while I'm a champion in name, you are truly a champion for your charity horse riding work. Well done to you. And horse enthusiast Claire Balding has sent a message to Jane, hi there, it's Claire, and I just wanted to add to the thank yous. I know, as you do, how much joy children get from being involved in And I just wanted to be part of a huge, huge number saying a massive thank you to you. I had no idea what was happening and it's all just been a little bit of a shock, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Completely overwhelmed. I just don't deserve all of that glory because it's absolutely what I do. I love the ponies, I love the children. Incredible. Oh, she so deserves it. Yeah, she does deserve the recognition. What a lovely we lady. love.